So today I'm going to walk you through five effective methods to clear USMLE and come to ESA. No, I'm just kidding. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Kavita. I'm a radiation oncologist. I did my India, I did my MD from India and uh, came to USA like somewhat around one and a half years back. So I just wanted to share my journey and how even after MD in your home country, you can come to USA as a clinical researcher. At least that's what happened with me. And you don't need to clear USMV. Yeah, that's correct. I Although I did clear step one and I had a lot of resistance around the exam and I tried all different methods so that I can you know go to any other country without clearing any big exam so i tried canada i looked through the uk exam for frcr to dubai singapore everything but uh, you know destiny works uh, its way uh, through so i got my rejection letter from canada which i was really hopeful for and that is the time when i looked through my vision board and it was always coming to new york for me so yeah, that was the time when I talked to many of my seniors and they told me that if you want to clear USMLE, this is the time. Not later, but this is the right time if you are planning to come to USA. So I made a promise to myself, I will clear step one by hook or by crook. But after that, I'm coming to USA because I just couldn't wait, you know, for the whole process, ECFMD certification and then just waiting for everything. No. I decided it for myself I want to try I want to try living there and I I'm gonna decide it for myself not that if I am uh, worthy of the country but is the place worthy of me you know sometimes we put ourselves so down that we only see uh, uh, the perspective of beggars can't be choosers but no after I was done with my MD it they played a huge role in uh, bringing my confidence from here to here and I just knew that I am a better cl clinician and I deserve to be paid. So I just, uh, at that time, I was just scrolling through uh, different kind of jobs that are available for doctors. So I did uh, research uh, about translational research that uh, also doctors can do but I was more interested in the clinical research since in India I did not in uh, uh, my residency did not get much exposure related to the research so i wanted to explore that area as well so after i cleared my step one i uh, started uh, you know uh, sending letters uh, emails to uh, attendings from different hospitals and also created my linkedin profile and started uh, reaching out to doctors that is when uh, I found uh, uh, the LinkedIn uh, profile of my current attending and then I just reached out to them and uh, luckily he saw the message and I got an invite for the interview and the interview was conducted. So initially I came as an observer but later on I got the position and I got the position of a clinical postdoc research fellow. So any of you who are interested in, you know, coming to USA, first trying it out and, you know, also not burdening yourself with uh, the uh, financial, uh, you know, expenses here. So you want to earn and you want to live here and see for yourself and then start your USMD journey go for it all you need to do is reach out to different people and make a good cv make a good uh, linkedin profile and make a good uh, uh, i would say email format and get letter of recommendations from your current uh, supervisors and then just start sending out letters so in the next video i will be covering how i cleared my us emily exam step one while working as a senior resident which is nothing but it's kind of a position that you do after you complete your residency so at that time i was still not 100 percent confident uh, in my ability to clear the exam but the fact that my close friend recently cleared the exam so i somehow got the confidence and i started my journey and uh, 
but I just couldn't you know let go of everything all at once when I knew the expenses of the exam and of coming here so I did not want to let go of my job immediately but I did eventually so that I will be covering in the next video but if you don't follow me on Instagram my handle is Dr. K M D and I do provide one-to-one -one counseling I have a US assembly step one video guide as well as how to apply for research in USA video guide which you can know for the details on my Instagram page but if you want uh, to know more just keep on following and I'll be making few more uh, interesting videos in the future so until then take care bye bye